Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will learn about rounding of numbers. You must have come across statements like this in your everyday life. Approximately rupees 2000. Around 300 guests attended the function. About 400 children participated in a competition. More than 4000 people were there. So all these terms approximately around about more than all these terms give us an idea about the number which is quite close to the exact number. The number so rounded is called the estimated number. What is rounding? Actually rounding of numbers gives us a quick idea about the information needed. Rounding to the nearest tens, hundreds or thousands place means finding the closest number with no ones, no tens and no hundreds. Why do we need to round numbers? Why rounding? In many instances, we don't need an exact answer. Suppose if anyone asks your age, your answer must be I'm 10 years old. You will not say I'm 10 years, 3 months and 4 days old. So in many instances, we don't need an exact answer. When only an estimate of the number is needed, when an accurate or exact answer is not needed or expected or to make the calculation simpler, we use rounding of numbers. If I tell you to find the sum of these two numbers, which one will you do first? You might answer this first, right? Why? Because it doesn't take much time. It is easier for us to calculate the numbers that have been rounded are friendlier than the numbers that are not rounded. So friendly numbers are numbers that are close to 10, 100 or 1000 which make it easier to work with. Remember, answer will be close but not exact. Friendly number is the closest number ending with no ones, no tens and no hundreds. Let's learn this with the help of a number line. Okay, we are placing numbers on this number line from 0 to 10. And the number to the right of the number line are greater compared to the number to the left. Okay, take this number 2. 2 is closer to 0. That, is, that means 2 is friendlier to 0 than 10. Right? And 6. Take this number 6. 6 is closer to 0 or 10. 6 is closer to 10. Or we can say that 6 is friendlier to 10 here. And take this number 8. Here 8 is closer to 10 or 0. Of course, 8 is closer to 10. So, we can say that 8 is friendlier to 10. And take this number 4. And as you can see here, 4 is closer to 0 than 10. Or 4 is friendlier to 0. Let's look at a few more examples. Okay, um, here I have made a number line from 0 to 20. And the nearest 10 on either side of the number is useful benchmark. So, let's consider this number 13. 13 is between which two tens? As you can see here, this is 10 and here it is 20. So, this will be 11, 12, 13. So, 13 is between 10 and 20 and 13 is closer to 10. So, we can say that 13 is friendlier to 10. And see the next number, 18. So, 18 is also between 10 and 20. So, 18 is, 18 will be here, right? And 18 is more close to 20 than 10. So, we can say that 18 is parallel to 20. Let's look at this number, 5. So, 5 is between which two number? 5 is between 0 and 20. 10 and 5 is a halfway number or 5 is the middle point of 0 and 10. So we can say that the midpoint is always closer to the higher 10. So 5 is friendlier to 10 here. And the last number that is 11. So 11 is between which two tens? 11 is between 10 and 20. This will be the number 11 here. So 11 is closer to 10. 
So we can say that 11 is parallel to 10. Okay, let's learn the rules for rounding. If the number is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, round the number up. Say for example here 48. We are going to round 48 to the nearest 10. Here the digit in the ones place is 8 which is greater than 5. So we are replacing this 8 by 0 and adding 1 to 4. So 48 rounded to nearest 10 is 50. Or you can say that 48 is between which two tens? 48 is between 40 and 50. And the midpoint or the halfway number is 45. 48 is closer to 50. So we can say that we can round off or round up 48 to 50. And if the number is followed by 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, round the number down. So consider this number 22 and we are going to round off 22 to the nearest 10. Here the digit in the ones place is 2 which is less than 5. So we are replacing the digit in the ones place by 0 and retaining the other digit which is in the tens place. So 22 rounded to nearest 10 is 20 or we can say that 22 is between 20 and 30 and 25 is a halfway number or middle point and 22 is closer to 20 so we can round down 22 to 20 let's look at few more examples let's round these numbers to the nearest 10 see here in this number line 46 is here and it's between 40 and 50 and this number 18 18 is between 10 and 20. 18 is here. And we have 24 which is between two tens that is 20 and 30. And this point represents 24. And let's see if we round off 46 to the nearest 10. As you can see here 46 is between the lowest benchmark that is 40 and the highest benchmark. 50 and here 45 is a middle point and 46 is closer to 50 so we can round 46 to 50 and we can write it as 46 approximately equal to 50 here the digit as you can see here here the digit in the ones place is 6 which is more than 5 so we are replacing it by 0 and we are adding 1 to the digit in the tens place. So 46 rounded off to nearest 10 is 50. Figure out what benchmarks to use. Here 18 is between which two tens? 18 is between 10 and 20. This is 18 and 18 is closer to 20. So 18 is nearer to 20. So it is rounded up to 20 and we can write it as 18 approximately equal to 20. Okay, the next number 24. 24 is between which two tens? 24 is between 20 and 30 and 24 is less than 25, the middle point. So 24 we can round down and we can write it as 24 approximately equal to 20. Here the digit in the ones place is 4 which is less than 5. So we can replace it by 0 and we are retaining the other digit. So 24 is rounded down to 20. And here in this case it is 18 which is the digits in the ones place is 8, 8 which is more than 5. So we are replacing it by 0 and we are adding 1 to the digit in the tens place. So when you are rounding 18 to the nearest 10 we can write it as 18 rounded up to 20 or 18 is approximately equal to 20. Let's see how to round a number to nearest 100. Let's look at this example 460. Here we have 0 in the 1's place, 6 in 10's place and 4 in the 100's place. Look at the digit in the 100's place. 
we look at the digit in the hundreds place here here we have four and see the number which is right of the hundreds place and if the digit is five or more than five then we add one to the digit in the hundreds place so here we have four in the hundreds place and right of it we have six which is more than five so we add one to four so four changes to five or we can round it out 460 to 500 460 is rounded up to 500 and let's see this with the help of a number line here 460 is between two hundreds that is 400 and 500 here each of these lines shows 10 that is 410 for 20 430 440 450 460 and 460 is closer to 500 460 is nearer to 500 so it is rounded to 500 and written as 460 approximately equal to 500 let's see how to round a number to nearest thousand here we have 4200 and here the digit in unit place is 0 tens place also we have 0 we have 2 in hundreds place and 4 in thousands place when you round a number to thousands place, when you are rounding a number to nearest thousand, the ones and tens place is always zero. And if the digit in hundreds place is five or more, then we can replace it by zero and add one to the digit in thousands place. But if the digit in hundreds place is less than five, we replace it by zero and we have to retain the digit in thousands place as it is. So here we have two in hundreds place which is less than five. So we have to replace it by zero and we, are, we have to retain the digit in thousands place as it is. So 4200 we can round it down to five, uh, 4000. Let's see this with the help of a number line. Actually, 4200 is between which 2000s? It is between the lower benchmark 4000 and it's between the higher benchmark 5000. And 4500 is the middle number or midpoint. Here each of this line indicates 100. So 4200, this line represents 4200 and it is closer to 4000. So 4200 is nearer to 4000. So it is rounded to 4000 and written as 4200 approximately equal to 4000. Okay, there's a fun way to learn rounding. We can use this rounding rhyme to round numbers. So you can learn this rounding rhyme and then we can use this rhyme to round numbers. So here it is. Find the digit look next door five or higher add one more four or less let it rest okay let's see how to use rounding rhyme in rounding numbers round to the nearest 10 here now number is 63 find the digit we are rounding to nearest 10 so the digit in the tens place find the digit here the digit in the tens place is six so what is the next line find the digit look next door who is in the next door here in the next door we have 3. Okay, and then 5 or higher. In the next door we have 5 or higher. No, it is 3 here. 4 or less. Okay, here we have 3 which is less than 4. So let it rest. That means we are rounding down to 63. We are rounding down to 60. Let's see a few more example. Here we are going to round these numbers to the nearest hundred. So we are looking at the digit in the hundreds place. And next to hundreds place, that is in the tens place, we have two, which is less than five. That means we are replacing this digit by zero and retaining the digit as it is. So 720, we can round it down to 700 or Think about the number line. In number line, the 720 is between 700 and 800. And 720 is closer to 700. So, 720, we can, 7, 720, we can round it down to 700. 
and look at this example 455 here we are going to round these two nearest 100 so the digit in the hundreds place is 4 and the digit right of it is or the digit in the tens place is 5 if the digit in the tens place is 5 or more we are replacing it by 0 and adding 1 to the digit in the hundreds place so 455 is rounded up to 500 so we can write it as 720 approximately equal to 700 and 455 approximately equal to 500 now let's round these numbers to nearest thousand we are going to round these numbers to nearest thousand so we have six here in thousands place and we have seven in hundreds place so look at the digit next to the digit in the thousands place that is seven and here seven is more than five so we have to replace it by zero and add one to the digit in the thousands place so this number we can round it up to 7000 6700 is rounded up to 7000 or in number line this number 6700 is between which two thousands it is between 6000 and 7000 and the middle point is 6500 and 6700 is more than 6500 or it is closer to 7000 so we can round it up to 7000 and see this example 8200 here we have 8 in the thousands place and the digit in the hundreds place is 2 which is less than 5 so if the digit in the hundreds place is less than 5 we have to replace it by 0 and retain the digit in the thousands place as it is so 8200 we can round it down to 8000 so we can write this as 6700 approximately equal to 7000 and 8200 approximately equal to 8000 we can practice more of these problems at home thank you